What's going on guys, we're back. Okay, so let me give you guys an example. Okay, so this low here is two bundles high. So when there's three bundles high, I have to belly strap it, right? But there's only two bundles high, so I don't have to worry about belly strapping, okay? So let me give you guys a little notice. The reason why I bought this thing here, it's actually a really good tool and, and can strap down your load correctly and it can save your life, okay? When you strap down your load correctly, when you're hauling flatbed, you, don't have, you have more peace of mind than you're driving down the road. So if you had to slam on your brakes, you okay, you know what I mean? Okay, so everybody knows that I have chrome fenders, okay? This chrome fender right here. Ever since I bought those new fenders, I cannot slide this winch up here so I can strap down this load here on this part here. When I move this one here, here, when I turn right on my truck, when I'm driving, I turn right, my winch right here, it hits this part right here. You see it? See how it's bent already? It's from turning right. So if I move this winch to here so I can strap down this load properly, okay? When I move this one here, when I turn right while I'm driving, it hits my fender, okay? So these fenders here, they're getting hit. And you see a little bulging right here? So that's from, that is from this. This is going too far. So that means I have to stay at this point or move back. I cannot move any more forward. This is the farthest it will go without hitting my fenders. So that's another reason why I bought this. Now, when you have, when you're hauling flatbed and, you're, and you have an older trailer, sometimes these winches right here, they weld it onto the frame of the, of the trailer. So you cannot slide back and forth. So sometimes they do it in the front or sometimes they do it in the back, okay? Now, I want to explain you this guy here too. Now, you see I have a, a, a strap right here very end right and you're wondering how I did that now these are my belly straps these winches here are my belly straps the other side of my on my flatbed are to, to strap down my load now as you can see in order for me to use this winch right here to strap down this part here at the very last part to give me more peace of mind when I'm driving down the road watch what happens you see that it won't go past that so how in the world did my witch pass this part here to strap down this low here? And the reason why it's doing that and hitting that, because I got a bolt right here. See that? That bolt there is to keep the, the winches in the trailer without, so, so without sliding it off. So no one can steal your winches and it, it creates a boundary that it will not pass this point, okay? From here and back, it will not go anymore. If you go forward more, it's gonna hit this bolt right here. It's gonna hit this bolt right here, and that's it. And you're wondering, well, how in the world did you step on this side here? Let me show you why. I only took one bolt off. I took one bolt out so I can use this winch here to strap the very last part. Now, for those of you guys don't wanna remove your bolt, and you have that tool I just showed you, you can still strap your load in the back. So you can buy two of those, one in the front, one in the back, or whatever, whatever you wanna put. Now you gotta remember, these are spring loaded, okay? So let's say if I wanna strap the back, okay? Let me just give you guys an example. I forgot to bring my GoPro, so I'm doing it on my phone. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm gonna show you. These slots right here, okay? These empty pocket slots right here, if you have these, they will work. They have another one uh, for this particular one here. That if you don't have those stakes slots, they have other ones for you to use. You have to check it out yourself. So I have the very link to the very bottom of the video. But this right here says this is spring loaded right here. It says this is spring loaded. See, I can slide this right here and lock it in. Let's say I want to do it at the very back of the back. Back of, the back of the trailer. See that? Goes right in. See that? And now you can strap your last strap here in the back of the load to be more safe and more peace of mind on your head when you're driving on the road and your load is secure on your trailer. You see what I'm talking about? In order to get this out, pretty easy. Push the latch down, up. And I only got one hand, hold on a second. I need to slide right back out, okay? So now I'm gonna show you this guy here, very important. I got two of these, so I bought two of these. So 
that very front winch, can I go past that point? Because it's going to hit my fenders, right? So how do I secure this load? I usually put two, three straps in front of the load. That way, that wood don't hit my truck. So how do I do this? Right here, brother. See that? Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the camera down. Hopefully, uh, I have I don't have my tripod with me, but I want to try and put it right here. You guys can see. It, hopefully, hopefully it holds. Come on, camera. Let me put it over here instead. There you go. Okay, so I'll put my gloves on. Now, you guys see, I put this winch in the very front. Just slide right in, as it's so. I already throw a strap already to prepare for this video. So now, I'm gonna strap it down, an extra strap. And how you strap it on all, on all your straps, you do the same thing, nothing different. Let me change. Okay. Let me grab my phone again. So now, see, I wind it up as I usually do. Okay. Wind it up. That's it. And crank it down. When you start cranking down, this is this thing's gonna go up like that. Okay. It's gonna go up as I crank it down. See that? That's, that's what you want. Okay. So let me put this camera back down. I want to crank on it. Stay right there, phone. Don't move. Don't move. So now, instead of having two straps in the front, now I have three straps in the front, the very front of the load, to protect the load, to make sure it stays in place. So in just in case of an emergency, if I have to slam on my brakes, this load here will not go forward and, and, and hit my truck or go through my truck and kill me. So if you secure your load, you got more peace of mind that you do, you're more safe on the load. That's why I highly recommend these winches here. Buy them. You do haul flatbed, get these winches, man. They, they really help you out. More peace of mind when you do your load. You see it? So now I got one, two, three straps, and this load is not going anywhere. And now every time I hear a high pitch on my strap, we're good. I mean, it's tight, it's not going anywhere. So it's an extra strap, see? It's not going anywhere. And it's going against your frame of your, well, the wall, not the frame, but the wall of the, of the, the trailer inside the pocket, you see? It's a good turn off, it's not going anywhere, okay? So I highly, highly recommend this. If you haul flatbed, get you some of these, okay? Will help you out in the long run. Now, I go to utility, they don't sell them. I go anywhere, I look through truck stops, Loves, Flying J, no one has them. And I, Jake's brother, Josh, he has these. I said, hey man, where can I get some of these? He said, I'll order online. I said, oh really? 
So I Googled it and I found them. So I bought two of these. That way it can hold up. That way it make my job a least easier, easier, more safe on the road. And just in case if I had to slam my brakes, this load here won't go through, go forward and hit my truck or kill me if it goes through my truck. An extra piece of tool can save your life if you do it just right, okay? So now everything's all set, I'm go, okay? That's all right now, guys. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I'll add the very link to the very bottom of the video if you want this witch here, if you haul flatbed, get one of these, guys. It will save your life, more peace of mind when, you do, when you're out here working, you secure your load, and when DOT put you over, you see you have a secure load, you got three, four straps in the front, you're good. He's like, hey, your strap's secured, your load's secured, then they gotta mess with you. DOT won't mess with you either, okay? So I highly re recommend you get this, okay? Get two of these if you want to. One front, one in the back, or just one if you needed one. You know, you never know. I'll add the very link to the very bottom of the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for support. Without you guys, I will not get to you making these type of videos. Give me a thumbs like. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification down below, bell below. Every Friday is always a new video. There's more videos coming out. Stay tuned. Every Friday is coming out. Peace. I'm out. A few moments later. Oh, just you guys, just in case you guys are wondering how I strap that strap here on this side here to go to the other side to, to tie down on a winch, my strap will go through that slot. Now, if you get a bigger one like this, see how this one is more wider? And see this one's a little smaller? If you use that stake on the other side to use a winch, go ahead and wrap your strap down here and tie it right here, okay? Tie right here or go down here to the frame. No problem, okay? It, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna bother anything. As long as secure that load or hold on tight, you're good. Okay, I, I forgot to add that in this video. So see my my strap, they're skinny. So they'll, they'll go inside, they go inside the stake easy. But if you have the, the kydex, the kydex, the ones I use, there are metal ones are wider than this, okay? So if you use this kind of strap, this is kind of wide, go ahead and throw it over, put that winch on that stake and that, that hole right there, wrap this strap right here and hook it up right here or go to the frame underneath the, the flatbed. Either way, it works. As long as it holds on tight, you're safe. All right, guys. Peace.